Fort Collins Police Sergeant Robert Younger's body camera video shows us a taste of what an officer might deal with during any given call. Yeah, so we're just sitting here watching the game. The officer then has to write up a detailed report about every call they respond to. Now for the first time. You can see in just a matter of seconds, the draft report's going to pop up. A Colorado law enforcement agency is using artificial intelligence to help with those daily police reports. It's absolutely huge for law enforcement. It's, it's going to change the the gamut or spectrum of how we do our work. This is a test video created by the Fort Collins Police Department. The AI software transcribes the body camera video and gives a near verbatim log of an interaction out in the community. I have done a test video one time where we were standing next to a train and you could you could make out everything in the AI report came out perfectly. Younger says unlike ChatGPT, this AI doesn't make any assumptions or offer suggestions. Or they've turned the volume on the creativity part all the way down. Once a draft is created, it requires officers to provide additional information like details of the scene. And I'll briefly read some of that. On May 1st, 2024 at approximately 10.04 a.m. And then it says, insert observations upon arrival. As AI makes its way into policing, second vice president of the Colorado NAACP, Rashad Younger, wants to make sure the technology is fair. You don't want to be um, the target and profile just because we're wearing certain clothing. And we don't know if AI is going to do that. Sergeant Younger reassures that the 46 Fort Collins officers currently testing the tech in the field must verify the accuracy of the report that was created. That has to be done before signing off on the report. If needed, I'm willing to testify to the accuracy of this report. The agency estimates it spends about 19,000 hours a year writing reports, but this technology cuts down on that time by about 70%. We need to be able to make sure that AI is, you know, a tool that's assisting, but it should not um, replace, you know, officers being in the community. In these early days of testing, Sergeant Younger says officers like it. So my hope is, is that by utilizing this technology, we'll put people back out on the streets where they can talk to friends, neighbors, community members, be present, respond to calls, be engaged and proactive, and less time inside a building somewhere working on a report. Reporting for Denver 7, I'm Claire Lavazorio.